What's up everybody? I'm back and in this video I'm going to go over with you guys something that I have seen on the river and probably many of you others have seen on the river. It's a um, it's something that I've witnessed people doing and I highly recommend never doing this. So as you've seen in the title it's something that I would recommend you never do but we still see it anyway so I want to show you guys I recently read an article of um, someone that got snagged on the river and what had happened they had ran one of those you know what ended up happening somebody out there was running a carabiner right here and I know we've all seen those guys leave in the comments if you've ever met that person or you know someone in your group that runs a carabiner like right here one of the worst spots you could ever run one of these is right here I highly recommend never hooking up here either either here or the green jacket you know there's these little loops right here I don't know if you can see them on the camera see that little loop you can run it in that little loop and you can put you can actually put like You could actually put like multiple ones up here through these little loops. See that? And I can stack them in a series. Now, in a, in, if I was just like standing on a, a bank and I'm, I'm working, kind of setting up Z-drags, setting up any type of um, maybe pulley top system, it wouldn't be that bad. I've done that. I've hooked on there just to hold it for a minute and then unhooked it. But I'm talking about people that are paddling down river down river with these things on them oh my god <laughs> i don't get it you know there's things that's funny the more i paddle the more i'm out there i i see things that i think are common knowledge out there until i run across it and i see someone that has a, a carabiner stuck right here and i'm like i and i i challenge you guys i challenge y'all to call them out call them out if you see people doing this you can't give me one reason why like why you can't just run it in here it could just as easily be accessible in here than right here. So, I mean, come on. So, if you're running the if you're running one of these, if you're running this carabiner right here, if you're especially the one that doesn't have a twist gate, they make those with the twist gates. I'll put it up on the screen now. A twist gate, and then I run several of these screw gate ones. So, I've got several screw gates, and they, they you know, they but I can tell you from experience those twist gates are not cheap. I think they're around about 20 bucks a piece. And geez, when I lose those things, I get so mad. And I've heard it all. I've heard it all. People are like, oh, well, I run a screw gate up there. So what do I got to worry with? I'm not worried about it. I'm like, why? Why do it at all? I'm like, you don't need to, you don't need to run anything up there. That's why you should always keep your vest nice and tight. Keep them tightened down to even minimize this snag right here. The last thing I want is a is a like a metal metal ring right here that could potentially like clip clip on something and it's so easy to do that I know you're like oh the odds of that happening are minimal yeah but that one time it does happen <laughs> it sucks and you're gonna be in a lot of trouble so yeah that's all I want to do I just want to give you guys a quick safety tip on what not to do um, and this one and what to do so my suggestion is definitely carry multiple styles of carabiners you know it's okay to carry like multiple styles on you always have some sort of screw gate or twist gate I've always got that on me and then have some sort of wide gate um, open one if you can you know some sort of wide gate for clipping on paddles and clipping on things like that those are great for clipping on paddles those are terrible for clipping here but yeah so always keep something on you but minimize it by sticking it down inside your vest and having it compacted you don't want anything dangling around this area if possible that's pretty much it that's all I've got on on today on the little safety tip for you guys if you um if you've ever seen anyone doing this or witnessed anybody carrying one of these on them right up here leave in the comments below because I love hearing from you guys on the stories that um that has happened to you out on the river because I can tell you you know you let that thing snag like that it doesn't take much for that to just happen and if that happens and that's hooked onto your vest you're in big trouble and if I have to save your ass if I'm out there and I have to save you I'm not cutting this you know what I'm cutting I'm gonna lift your vest up and I'm gonna sever that right there so that way you I've ruined your three hundred dollar vest to save your life no, I'm just joking I wouldn't do that I would cut the wire I would cut the cord but anyway um, 
yeah, let's all let's all try to help each other out more, and let's just make it more aware that never run any type of uh, carabiners up here on your vest in these hooks or hooking anywhere down into here. Never hooking anywhere where you can't like get the get it off real quick. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I got. You guys leave in the comments below if there's more videos like this that you like to like to see because I like doing them, and um, I appreciate you guys and thanks a lot. And I will uh, catch you guys next time. Yeah. Hopefully I won't find you pinned up on a raft somewhere and I have to cut you out of there. <laughs>